Yo, what's up, boys and girls? Welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, like the video, subscribe, and comment down below. Uh, Raisin Cane's starting today. Raisin Cane's turning their delicious, freshly squeezed lemonade green. That's fire. To celebrate St. Patrick's Day for the next two weeks. They're like me. I dress my man female box in St. Patty's Day gear. Chicago turns their river green. Boston, New York throw a great parade. But it's the Cane's Leprechaun Lemonade that does it for me every St. Patty's Day. No better way to kick off St. Patty's Day celebrations this March than a box of combo of craveable chicken fingers, crinkle gut fries, and buttery Texas toast. Of course, paired with the Leprechaun Lemonade and Cane's sauce. Better yet, imagine yourself getting in the spirit this March with fresh new Canes gear. The first of their spring collections dropped last week, including bold graphic tees, hoodies, hats, and accessories. Just go to RaisinCanes.com and check it all out. Start your St. Patrick's Day uh, celebrations early with Raisin Cane. Satisfy your Canes fix today. There really is no other option. All right, BFF's new episode, special guest, Tara Yummy. Your audio is crazy right now. It is? Yeah, it's like robot-y. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I sound like a robot too? A uh, little bit, yeah. You're both kind of on the robot sound of things. Yeah, see if there's like a little loose cord here, Olivia. I'll have a tech guy come here real quick. Like, to my house? No, we're gonna, we're gonna take over your computer, apparently. I also didn't know that this is how it was filmed. You thought we were all together? I thought Brie was here. I feel like everyone always thinks that. It's usually people that aren't super big fans though that- Yeah, because pretty obvious we're not together. I thought maybe it was like different rooms in the house. I know that sounds so stupid now that I think back at it. You thought we all just had our own room? That'd be crazy, <laughs> yeah. How we doing, Austin? We're gonna restart him real quick. Okay. Oh, and he's gone. I feel like it's whenever we have guests, nothing works. I know. How are we doing now? Oh, it sounds it sounds really good, actually. All right, so we're good to go finally. And we just got to restart his audio, and then so we're not actually not actually good. Man, maybe I do need a new iPad. I mean, every application takes five minutes to open, so probably the sign, Josh. Probably the time, huh? I don't. I really don't care. I care. Like I got like a vet appointment, so like I care. But it's very big of you <laughs> not to care. Wait, did you see Dune, Dave? I did. Did you like? I guess we'll save for the pod if we have a pod. We got it. We got it? Yippee. It only took 45 minutes. We're 45 minutes. Wait, well, we just got to start it, but it's open now. Oh, it's open. It hasn't actually started, so. Wow, okay. It's fine. It's whatever. Let's just go. Let's do this. Can we go? What? Yep. What? Yeah. All right. Finally here. Woo. Wow. BFFs, finally. Uh, first of all, I owe Tara an apology. Josh has, like, I guess, a computer from the 40s that he hasn't updated, and we've been sitting here for 45 minutes. And I'll be honest. Yeah, you're the message. rich guy, Josh. It's right. the right. easiest, like when your computer's slowing down to a crawl, which I assume yours is, you just got to get a new computer. Oh, it just has a bad shoulder injury, all right? It's still pushing. It's just. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, sorry, Tara. Like, yeah, I'm sorry sitting about here for that. 45 minutes. I think it's uh, Tara. It's Tara. I wasn't going to correct him. It's Tara. <laughs> he scares me. <laughs> <laughs> Tara. Actually, what am I, you're saying what am I, it's the first thing, ta, what am I saying? Tara. I'm Tara. saying Tara. No, you just said Tara. You said Tara, but that's okay. Dave scares me. <laughs> you can say whatever you want. Tara. It, the first thing on the sheet says Tara, not Tira. Tara. No. I wasn't tar, saying like Tara. Tar. Tar, tar, like, like black, black tar hair. Tara. Okay. Like, yeah. I'm sorry, Tara. That's okay. Right? Yes. No, that, I'm saying that's how I say the name. Yes, Tara. That's how I said it from the beginning. Uh, well, mm, that's okay. Well, if someone has an <laughs> accent, you can't like correct. You can't be like, don't speak with a Boston accent. You think that was a Boston accent just coming? I was. The first thing on the sheet says her name is Tara, not Tira. I wasn't saying Tira. Everyone in Boston does say Tara. Like I don't Tara. think it's what Tara. The sheet yeah, says. I do know that. Yeah. Oh, what do you mean? It's not problem. what the sheet says. The sheet says oh, pronunciation uh, Tara, not Tira. I think tear, like a tear, like tear. Tara. 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 I think it's tar. It's tar. Tara, not Tara. Tara. That's okay, though. They Wait, can call me whatever you want. Tara. T -E -A -R. Am I saying it right? Tara. Tear. Tara. Yeah, but you're saying it perfect. I think, yeah, okay. Dev wrote that, I think, meaning tear, as in like tear something, but she sh it also could be tear, so I could see why that's confusing. Yes. But what it is, is if you say the word T-E-A-R in a, in a vacuum, what somebody say what that word is? Tear. Thank you. No, but it's saying but not. It's Tira. Correct. Yeah. And no, no. I didn't say Tira. No, Dave said I, I, Tara, I think. Tara. I think she meant it as not tears and tear papers, but she yeah. should have used something else because that it's a homophone, so it could be the same thing. Big word, homophone. I haven't heard that word <laughs> since like elementary school. No, yeah. What is that? So like welcome, that? welcome, welcome Tara. Ta 
Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Tara. I don't have it right there. <laughs> Tara, Dave. Tara. Tara. Yeah. Yes, there you go. Tara. Perfect. <laughs> Tara Yummy, right? Yes. yes. Tara Yummy. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Thank you so After much. After a lot. So I've been told by Bree and Josh, you're the hottest thing on TikTok right now. God, that's so nice. Thank you, Bree and Josh. You're welcome. You're welcome. Is this true? Like, how? What? What happened? What, how? I, like, and for how long? I have no idea. So I've been doing, I've been doing it for like four or five years now. But for some reason, the last few months, everything's just like booming. And I, I'm so grateful, but I don't know what happened. I think a couple of my videos and my ex-boyfriend's videos were like trending on YouTube. So I think that's what pushed it. But I don't know what it was exactly. So it was a nothing. Lot of you were sounds. doing the same thing. I'm doing the same exact thing. I think the sound had a little leverage. The sound? The she had like a was, little audio that I've blew had, up, Dave. It was a couple audios, yeah. What, what was the first they? one? Um, I've never been, I've never ghosted someone. What, what was oh, that yeah. one? Oh, it's, yeah. It's me. It's like, no, I don't believe in ghosts. But I did once ghost a guy in high school or something like that. And then that it like goes super viral. Yeah. 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 And, 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 and I'm feeling yummy. That video, that clip was recorded over a year and a half ago, it was in a video where me and my ex went to like a hotel and like I said, I don't believe in ghosts. And oh, we were like okay. looking for like something haunted. And I'm like, I truly don't believe in ghosts. But one time I ghosted the guy in high school, it was like a joke. And, and then I, you do, what is the sound that Josh threw on the end of it? Like, oh, Tara, it, bah, 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 bah. oh. yeah, it's close to that. It's yeah. like, da -na 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 -yum, da -na 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 -yum. do I believe in ghosts? No, but one time I ghosted a guy in high school. Of course, Tana Mojo weasel her way into it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know how she fit into that clip. Um, we were, I think we were, we were filming a YouTube video and she's like, oh, I want to make a TikTok with your sound. And I said, yeah, of course. So that one already was viral. And then she jumped on the viral trend. Yes. Smart girl. I think everyone's using it. So. Yeah. 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 I think your girlfriend used it. She probably did. And I, I was like, you're a smoke too. show. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So maybe Miss Peaches will do it. That'll probably go. Oh, like yeah. I would, I would literally fan girl if Miss Peaches did it. She hasn't done a sound yet. So we're always like oh, we're at the stage of her, her career where I'm sort of running out of ideas. So yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. we'll start get into that. Get um, a little, yeah. Tara, 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 yummy. Sound Tara, there. yummy. Tara, yummy. Don't don't do that, Josh. <laughs> He's gonna that'll, that. that'll fuck with my brain. My brain's not good with that. So I almost repeated it. Um, I'm sorry. See. So, <laughs> Tara Yummy got her name in middle school after making her username on Instagram because now I got to look up the sheet. Tara didn't want to get mixed up with a friend also named Tara. Um, you went, it was between that and Tara Taco. Uh, yeah, for some reason I thought Tara Taco was like really funny. And then I was like, oh, tacos are yummy. And then I stuck good. with Tara. So good yeah. thing I did that. I feel yeah. like that would have aged way poorlier than, way more poorly than Tara Yummy did. Yeah, Tara Yummy. Tara Yummy is good. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. And our, I like Tara Taco too, to be honest. I like the both. Oh, do you? oh thank yeah. you. Yeah. I mean, we got like a chicken fry up in the That's corner. That's true. Oh my so. God, we could have yeah. been like food names. I know. I mean, I I've never met another food one. Do people yeah. think you use food all the time because of that? Well, no, people think it's my actual last name. When they find out my actual last name is LaPaglia, they're like, what? It's not chicken fry? It's kind of shocking. I had more faith in the world, but I guess they think it's chicken Imagine fry. Imagine a last name, chicken fry. Chicken fry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so you're from and I heard you guys talking in our 45 minutes of like just not being able to figure out how to do this. You're from L.A. Yes. Why do people think you're from Maryland? Because I was born there. I moved oh. here. When I was like four. So I never say, oh, I'm from Maryland because I have no like I don't connect with Maryland. I was raised in the valley here. Gotcha. Live with your parents still. Yeah, I love it. I think I'm moving Why? out soon, but. Why? So you seem a little old to live with your parents. <laughs> I, I, that's wow. I'm well, you're twenty. You're twenty three. Yeah, I moved and you're out. very successful. Thank you. I moved out for a little bit, and I hated it. I'm an only child. I'm really close to my mom, and when I I moved out for like a year when I was like nineteen, and I was like, "There's no point in this. Why don't I just like stay home and not pay rent when I could just like it's just me and my mom all day in the house." Mm -hmm. So it's like there's no point of me moving out. I don't feel like I see my parents all the time. You know, I have like a having whole... said that, you just said you're moving out. Yes, yeah, soon. Yeah. So what changed? I think I'm 23 and I'm like, got oh, it. I think it's time. I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right fair. Financially smart, though. Financially yeah. smart yeah. to live. With yeah. But when you're like, I assume if you're the hottest thing on TikTok, she's got the podcast. Everything's going right. Like, it's not a money issue. It's a comfort no. issue. Yeah. I just also like. I have a dog. I know it says it on here. I just like she watches my dog. So my dog's not alone all day. It's like. It's That's a good reason. Here. Yeah. It's convenient. Yeah. 
So you started on YouTube in 2019. Who who are some of your like OG YouTubers? That I used to watch? Yeah. Um, I watched a lot of like Jenna Marbles growing up. Um You know, like I invented her. Really? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I mean, I found her. Really? I had no she, idea. She worked for Barstool. So like really? all her yeah, all her early videos were when she worked for me. Wow. Yeah. I had no yep, idea. Yep. What a fun fact. I've just been around the internet since like the Stone Age. So there's a lot of a lot of little like Stone That's Age so things. Cool. But yeah. Yeah. Like how to trick a guy into thinking you're good looking. Oh, All her that early was my favorite video. Yeah. That was, that was so the cool. one that like blew her up. That yes, was the original. Exactly. Yeah. So she was like working for us when that happened. Oh. So her, who else? Um, I watch a lot of like boy groups. Remember like Vine days, like obviously like MagCon and like O2L and like all those things. I watched I mean, what was popular in 2014? Like Nash Greer was popular. Yes, he was yeah. big. Yep. Trisha yeah, like, you know, people like that, like people like all 14 year olds loved in 2014. Anyone you could think of then I watched. I was like obsessed with YouTube. Gotcha. Um, so your socials, we talked about a little bit, but since the beginning of the year, Tara's channel has been growing. Rep. Yeah, Tara uh, hit one million subscribers in February. And this is on what are we talking? What what is this YouTube? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, after gaining about half a million since the beginning of 2024, gained 2.5 million followers on TikTok since the beginning of the year. So everything, like you said, is just going crazy. It's so hard. It's interesting because I'm following the growth now. I like I can't grow at all. My channels are dead growing. So I guess it gives hope to people who are growing that you can go like that. Like, I how really, are you? Really think so? Yeah. How yeah. are you two? Like your growth, Brianna, and do you guys still grow fast or is it like stuck a little bit? I, I feel like it kind of like goes through waves right now. Like, I feel like it'll be like, you know, like there'll be a month where everything's like growing and then there'll be a month where it's like down and then there's like a month where it's even. And that, so it's kind of like all over the yeah. place. I feel sometimes like it's on different platforms, too. Like sometimes my Instagram will be growing, but not TikTok and then vice versa. Yeah. Do you, Tara, do you find it like what's your fastest growing? Or are they just all going? I would say TikTok's my fastest growing, which is I'm almost at six mil right now on TikTok, which is what were you at? Like the I was at one point five in January. Wow, wow that's, that's crazy, crazy. I, yeah. I don't know what happened actually Bree, i've dm'd you really like, on tiktok I, no 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 on instagram it was when you were passing a bunch of stones i wanted to bring it up and i was like i'm such a hypochondriac to the point where your stones stressed me out for like 48 hours and i had to keep up on your tiktok <gasps> to make sure you passed them i did i passed them thank you i've never saw your dm i wish i did <laughs> oh, it's okay my dm literally said hi i know we don't know each other but i'm such a hypochondriac that all i'm thinking about is your stone so please let me know if you pass them. <laughs> oh my gosh we're past, how many we're followers good. did you have when you dm'd her probably like on tiktok or on instagram insta probably like 400k how many do you have now 1.5 mil Hmm. Where you do only respond to million people accounts. I don't even look at my D. Bruce, I don't I, look I, at them. I feel like calling her out. Truly, uh, I was Bruce worried about you. If you had a million at the time, she would have answered. This is not no. true. I didn't see it. <laughs> That's okay. You didn't see it. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I was really just worried about your health. Thank you. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Uh, Tara's dog. I'm now in my head. Like every time I pronounce your name, I'm like thinking. I'm like you're okay. still saying it wrong every oh. time. Saying yeah, Tara. I'm saying it wrong every time. It's yeah, yeah but Tara. I'm not gonna. Tar, tar, Tara, yeah, tar, like, tar. Like, like sticking like black, in, in black tar. Yes. Okay. Yeah, got it. What was the got example it. I gave tar. Got it. Tara's dog, tar. Tara has a dog named Sugar, whose name she got tattooed on her. Sugar is a Pekingese Chihuahua who turns four at the end of March. Yes. Tara says she's not the type. She's the type of person to stop talking to a person completely if they look at him the wrong way. I'm on the same page. I'm I saw your TikTok like this morning. I keep up with Miss Peaches to the point where I saw those people. I I put my dog in a stroller too, and it pisses me off when people look at them wrong. It's like, just like you said, those rat human toddlers. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like she, I, the look on that lady when I walk by, I want to punch her in the face. Oh, like, I and she completely. was like, oh, oh, it's like your kid sucks. By the way, I agree. I agree. I'm also, on the same page. people put kids in leashes. Yeah. So why can't we put dogs in strollers? Yeah, uh, dogs get tired too. They need a stroller too. Yeah, and my uh, dog has a, a little bit of a fucked up leg, so, so I he wants he to be outside, tired. but get yeah. yeah, he gets tired easily. So I put him in a stroller. So what's going on <laughs> in this first picture with the eyebrows? Oh, I, those are like some false lashes that didn't have any glue on them. So I just put them on the, the dog, and I thought it was cute because he had eyelashes in it. D does um. <laughs> Does Sugar have her own account or you just include her on your account? Um, he doesn't have his own account. I just I just post him on my own. It's a he? I think 
It's a he, yeah. Oh, wow. Sugar is kind of like a girl. I name. know. I know. <laughs> that, and also, I put, I put him in pink all the time. But That's fine. We don't judge. I, yeah. Yeah. I mean, my female dog's His name is Buddy. Buddy. Yeah, yeah so I know. That's a boy you. name. Yeah. yeah, Buddy. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. Where's the tattoo? Where'd you get a tattoo? Uh, right here. My first I, arm tattoo. What if I get a Miss Peaches? <gasps> that would be fire. I think you should. I'll get a boss. I think I think you have to. It, you should it's get, so special. You should get like Miss Peaches, like like across your neck or something. <laughs> oh, get it as a tramp stamp. Yeah. yeah, like a jet. Let me see. Or a, a little look. tramp stamp. Look, yeah. Uh, look at how cute this girl is. Oh, Wait. precious. Where? Oh, we're kind of just looking at your cap. Oh. There we no. go. Oh, oh Miss Peaches. <laughs> She's just being a, an angel. She's so we're, we're team like dog. She really is such a. Is, am I still okay, Austin? Yeah. Yep. The, okay. Um, so we're dog people. So I automatically like you guys. And oh, I didn't even see what we get tattooed for the pet. Yeah, I think about it. Um, Tara's. Th now I got it. Tara describes her style of Paris Hilton met Marilyn Manson had a baby. Um, <laughs> I like that. When you were younger, you want to be a MySpace scene girl. I didn't even know you would know yeah. what MySpace is. I feel like. I had a lot of older friends growing up. So I was born in 2000. So technically when MySpace was a thing, I was like seven, eight years old. But I had a lot of like older friends in camp and stuff. And I would see them like post on their MySpace. I'm like, damn, I want to be like that. Mm. I wasn't in what? the MySpace. Life. What is this picture on the right? Are you in this picture? <laughs> I'm not. I don't know what this picture is at all. I think that's just like what MySpace looked like back then. Yeah, it's a reference photo. Gotcha. Okay. Because you're the first. Yeah. The, the first two the pictures first are you. Yeah. Oh, you got a vanity plate? Tea yummy? Yeah. Oh, I've had a that's, that's yeah. bad. Ass or well, bad? I don't know. Bad ass? Yummy and like, yeah. <laughs> I can't. Why, why did you ask her that? I see the license plate on the picture. No, why did you ask her if it was bad ass? That was like you formed that in a question. You were like, that was no, bad. No, I said, I said, that's bad ass i can't tell if i think it's bad or badass i'm in between <laughs> okay yeah all right i understand like oh my god a tea yummy license plate that's like bad. i i was in my head thinking i'm like do i like it or i don't like it i'm in between well let me know I, i'll get back to you on <laughs> okay it. all right cool yeah, i'll I be waiting on that funny. I think <laughs> yeah cool. can you actually tilt your uh, camera down a little bit oh here we go <laughs> sorry better yeah nice uh, um Tara and YouTuber Jake Weber announced their breakup last August. They're dating for almost five years. Tara and Jake, still very close friends, still create contests as exes. That's that's. I didn't crazy. know you guys dated for five years. It would have been five years in February. Yeah, like four and a half. So you guys are still super close, like best friends? Yes, he just FaceTimed me and I said, I'm on BFF. He said, okay, sorry. Is it was that a totally mutual breakup then? It was totally neutral. People think it's like one-sided. It was totally mutual, totally like everything was so amicable and friendly. And I think that's the only reason we can stay friends is because we, it was just very mutual. So was it like a long, was it something that you guys had like talked about and then happened or was it, or I what you guys woke no. up and you're like, one, two, three, let's break up. <laughs> it was a couple weeks. I wouldn't say it was like months of us being like, we should break up. I think we would just kind of had conversations about it. And um, yeah, it was really, I mean, it was, it was still hard. It was a four and a half year breakup, but I think it was easy as it could be. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they say a gentleman always keeps his word, but I can't repeat any of the words that the weed dealing, gambling, murdering aristocrats say in the gentleman. Guy Ritchie's first TV show ever, only on Netflix, based on his award winning film, The Gentleman series, stars Theo James and a whole new cast of criminal lords and ladies slumming it up in Britain's criminal underworld, underworld guns out and pinkies up. I've seen The Gentleman. I loved it. Great movie. I'm excited for this. We actually did the pizza review with the cast. Uh, watch what happens when you try to play gangsters at their own game. Don't miss the gentleman. Only on Netflix, March 7th. Uh, Tara on Dropouts podcast. Tara's a frequent guest on Drop, uh, Dropouts podcast with Zach Justice and Jared Bailey. Tara and Zach seem to clout for him with their flirty banter and suggestive YouTube titles, but Tara say the two have never been a thing in the past, nor will they be in the future. Is everything that was just said there, would you agree with? The only thing I wouldn't agree with is being a frequent guest. I'm actually a host now, but- You got upgraded. Yes, I was upgraded. How long ago were you upgraded? Like two months ago. Like, oh. Like, yeah, like three you podcasts in, but I will say we never announced anything it was just kind of like, okay, like let's just make it a given that I'm a. Mm. Do you want to take back 
uh, giving credit to our research team? No, no, honestly, okay. no, no one knew. It's not like we never announced I'm a permanent host. Uh, okay. gotcha. I guess this is me announcing it. Okay. Yeah. This is the announcement. Yeah. Official We're breaking announcement. it <laughs> on BFFs. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for giving us that. Uh, yeah, I agree with everything. I we are not a thing, um, and I I don't think we clout form. I think, um, I think I think the suggestive YouTube titles are funny. So, so I get it. Like we're both we're both flirty, but yeah, we are yeah. not. I could never yeah. picture you two ever being a thing. Yeah, it doesn't even make sense Super, right? in my head. <laughs> it, to a lot of people, it does make sense. They think we're soulmates. Oh really? But it's kind of clout farming. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. That's what. The, the, Maybe feeding into it because it's funny. I do think, though, that like, the titles are correct. Like when you click it, I'm like, oh, I get it. I don't make the titles. I don't have access to the channel. Okay. So I don't I don't do that. I just became a host. <laughs> well, you got to think that Zach sees the clips do good when they're yeah. flirting. And he's like, Although let's I, keep this I up. will say there's a couple titles where I'll text Zach. I'm like, can you change the title of that? Mm. It's happened. What's one title that you didn't like? Uh, I do have time to really look at it really, really fast. Is that okay? Yeah. 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 And 45 minutes waiting okay, on that. I, I can wait just on texted him. Saying, can we change this title? Let's see here. Mm. There's a lot of uh, eggplant emojis. No, actually. there's not. <laughs> there's water emojis. Weird. Oh, this is me saying, sorry, I don't check my emails. Let's see. Wait, hold on one second. Excuse me. I apologize. Oh, here it is. It says, Tara choosing vibrations over visions. I said, can we change this title? <laughs> That's fair. Because it was about it was about we did like a debate where it's like, would you rather be um, blind or deaf? And I said, you can listen to music through vibrations. Yeah, that's and that's it got, it got like, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, was yeah. Like, can we, I literally said, can we change this title? Because it made me look really horny. Yes. <laughs> that's like, no, it, that's <laughs> fair. Yeah. 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 So I do. I do sometimes go in and I'm like, can we change this? Yeah, that makes did sense. Did they that change was... the title for you? I think they did. Yeah. He's like, yes. And nice. then I'm sure it did. I didn't check, but he usually is pretty good about it. OK. Yeah. Gotta love uh, Josh was recently on dropouts. I guess fans think um, Tara was nervous around Josh. I don't know how many comments. You got a couple comments about that. You're shaking your head. So that was that, I guess, twofold. Is that fair to say that's what fans thought? And two, were you nervous? I think I was. He said, you said, oh, like your audio. And I didn't know that like people around me, I guess, knew the audio. I thought it, I didn't know it was that big. So I got a little flustered being like, oh, my God, someone else knows the audio. Also, it was my first podcast on Dropouts that a guest came. Uh, so you were okay. nervous. Was, like, a little nervous. She was a little nervous. Yeah. Okay. That's cute. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Tara and Vinny Hacker on a re on an episode of Dropouts. Tara, Tara hinted nice. at hanging out with a guy, and after recording with Vinny Hacker, fans believe the two had great chemistry, could possibly be together. On the latest episode of Drop Dropouts. Tara was angry with a man, but she talked about it very vaguely. People think that this is Vinny. No, it's not Vinny. No, I was angry at a different man. It was also recorded pre-filming of Vinny. It has nothing to do with Vinny Hacker. Mm. Are you hanging out with Vinny Hacker, or is this not true? It was a video. We filmed a video together. You're not hanging out okay. off the scene. No. Okay. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what is that? Hmm. I thought there was a delay in your answer. I, I thought so too. It looked like she had to think about it. We haven't yeah. hung out, but it's like that. No, it's not like that type of hang up. No, no, no. It says here. It it's says here. Hang. What does it say? It says, "Is Tara seeing Vinny Hacker?" I would say no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. There's the answer. Okay. okay. Debunked. I think it was a video. People thought we had. Yeah. Straight. Made some like edits and whatnot. So, so yeah, this well, is also wrong. People also think Tara was talking about Vinny on six feet above with Trevi Moran and Katie Laverentios. Oh, I know that clip. I said, oh, I could think of someone that's hot with light brown hair or like blonde hair. And I was like thinking and of like, Vinny is hot. Don't get me wrong. Right. It's Vinny Hacker. But He's I was thinking about like hot. Austin Butler and theaters and like other. Mm, mm. Yeah. Austin Butler, spectacular in Dune 2. He <laughs> was in Dune 2. I heard, yes. I heard he was bald. Awesome. Yeah, he's like he was, completely transformed. He was awesome. Wow. Um, did he, did, did he, uh, he did not have no the Elvis accent. voice. No Elvis yeah. voice. It would have been funny. That's an SNL skit of him being that character. And like, cause that is, I true, mean, yeah. he, he got stuck in Elvis. He couldn't get out of Elvis. Yeah. Which is that like would be, that, it would be pretty cool to see him laugh at himself and do an SNL bit of him as the evil guy <laughs> with the Elvis voice. And everyone would be like, everyone would move the narrative of like, Oh, look, he's laughing at himself. That's awesome. Yeah. I would like, like okay. that would be a smart move for him. Tara and Karina Kampf because Tara has been 
uh, Tara has been in and around the influencer world for years. She has many friends who are creators. Tara is close to Karina Kampf and speaks very highly of her. Tara says Karina is selfless, will always pick up her calls if she's going through something. Okay. There's not uh, much to go on on that. It just sounds no, like you think, think she's a great person. Yeah. She's a great friend to me, yes. She's a great, great friend to me. How long have you guys known each other? Oh, my God. I want to say like almost three years. Okay, so yeah. wow. I don't know why people are just finding out we're friends. Huh. We've been friends for a long time. Uh, yeah. They're trying to stir the pot here, but I think we're past that. Also friends with Nessa, yeah. Josh's ex-girlfriend, if you didn't know that. Uh, I, I recently, yes, found that out. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, we hung out the other night. It was our yes. first time hanging out, actually. How was that? It was good. We got dinner and then we went out. That's fun. Yeah. And we already talked about this a little bit. You're going to be on an upcoming episode of Cancelled. I am. Yeah. It's not out yet, is it? No. I don't think so. Yeah. So you already filmed it, though? We already filmed it, yeah. Okay. How'd it go? I filmed it the same day we filmed your podcast. On oh, Dropouts. no way. Yeah. It went great. It went great. Um, I feel like I was a little really tired on it, though, because it was just late at night. But other than that, it went great. Also, uh, moving along, a fangirl, you're, you're a super fan of people like Harry Styles, One Direction, Miley Cyrus, who doesn't like Miley Cyrus? Actually, Jenna Marbles, many more. Um, Tara also has a Harry Styles tattoo. I do. Two men in my life, right? Sugar and Harry Styles. I do What's have- the Harry Styles tattoo? It just, it's on my hip. It says T- TPWK, treat people with kindness. It was like one of his song titles. It's not so like what a- or anything. How's that work if he's just like, calls you up and he's like, I want to go a date, date you. Just like, yep, instantly. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Since I was 11 years old, but I don't think he'd ever do that. No, I was just curious. Like, yeah. oh, 100%. Met- it's Harry well, Styles. To. It's Harry Styles. If Miley Cyrus called you up and was like, hey, want to go on a date? You go on a date with Miley Cyrus. 100%. Yeah, 100%. I slid yeah. into her dance. Got no you love Miley Cyrus, yeah. Dave? Oh, I love her. Me too. Really? This is a yes, Miley pod it. for sure. Oh, this is a Miley Cyrus? Do you love Miley Cyrus? Yeah, Miley Cyrus is great. Okay, this is I, like Miley lovers. Group. I'm obsessed yeah, I think, with Miley To be Cyrus. honest, everybody loves Miley. I've yeah, never met anybody who Miley doesn't Cyrus. like Miley. I agree. Brie, do you ever think maybe she'll go ever on tour as Hannah Montana again? I hope to I God, but she that? says that she's never going to tour again. I know. Oh, are she's you- like top of my list of dead or alive who I'd see. I've never seen her in concert. Well, that's I why I freaked one. out because I saw her at the Grammys and I was like, this is the best day of my life because I don't think I'll ever see her live again. Oh, my God. Where did her- you meet her? Um, in Calabasas. She was dating Cody Simpson at the time. She was just it was February 20, Cody like Simpson 20, 2019, that. maybe. And she was at a coffee shop and she was just sitting there by herself while Cody went away. And my ex-boyfriend was like, just go say you love her. And I'm like, OK, so I went upset. I love you so much enjoy her coffee and I walked away. How was she? Was she sweet? Did she, she say so anything? Nice. Oh. She was yeah. so nice to me. She was like, thank you so much. What's your name? What do you do? <gasps> oh, that is nice. I, I wanted to cry. Nice. I would have cried. Wow, I, good I, for you. I, when I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you had a moment to yourself. Oh, after. for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told her she's been my inspiration all my life and like I thanked her. Yeah, I would have. You're, do, you're doing her. a little of everything. This next headline, Tara, you're doing what? You did one stand-up show and then wanted to do nine stand-up variety style comedy tour? I did that last year, yes, sir. Wow. Wow. How did that go? I think it went well. I bombed New York. Oh, it really? was actually a year ago today. I New saw York it on my tough crowd. Was, it is a tough crowd. Oh, it hurt. I said something <laughs> and it was silent. And I was like, you guys can laugh. Like oh, I had what? to say that. Oh. Was it your fans? Yes. That's the worst part is it was my fans. So I was like, why didn't anyone laugh at that? Yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. just laugh to laugh. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. I, I really enjoyed it. Just touring's exhausting. Yeah. I'm sure. Stressful. Yeah. So would you ever do it again? I would love to do it again, but maybe in like shorter increments. Yeah. Yeah. I went out every weekend and honestly, I missed my dog. Fair. That was the reason. I, I got homesick over Sugar. Although I feel like Sugar is small enough that you could travel with, no? Yeah, yeah. but he's such a rat. Like he barks at everyone. He hates men. Like I don't ah, okay. bring him on a plane. I don't want to like Fair. make other people's problem. Got yeah. it. That's fair. Um, you're a big Halloween girl, so we got a bunch of your costumes here. I like Jersey Shore. What's that, Snooky? I was Snooky, yes, yes. What, what's what's all the one on the left, and you're wearing, like, I don't know what that is. You're Purple? wearing just... That JB? That's Justin just Bieber. That's Justin yeah. Bieber. Come yeah. on. I knew. That's, I knew. Oh, yeah, I didn't I, know um, that. That's, that's how I met Vinny, actually. I was dressed up like Justin Bieber. <laughs> okay. Wait, what party was that at? Uh, do you know Nema? It was her birthday party. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't think I do. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was just like a Halloween birthday party, and I went as Justin Bieber, and I like sang "One Less Lonely Girl" to her. It was awesome. For one of these, Chase's was a Halloween party, right? Chase Keith. No, the one that we met at the party we met at. No, that wasn't a Halloween party. Oh, okay. we met like years ago. It was not oh, a Halloween okay. party. Never mind. Yeah, you two so met it, years ago. 
Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't remember, but that I don't remember. Guy. Oh, wow, Josh. <laughs> it's okay. It's... It was very brief. I just said hello. Apparently, okay. we just said hi and yeah. bye. It was a quick thing. Maybe he was drunk. Maybe. I know probably. I probably was. Yeah, I definitely was. This, this, I mean, again, I don't, this next thing, what's next for uh, Tara says she potentially starting a podcast, but I'm assuming that's not really true since you're already a host of dropouts. Right. We're still thinking about doing something else. I, I mean, I would love to, oh, hello. I would love to, I mean, do my own podcast one day. Right now I'm just doing dropouts, but it, it's definitely like in the back of my mind because I just never shut the fuck up. Mm. So, so I it's feel a good place to go I back. Feel, I think it would be. Yeah. 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 It's a good it's job like if you like to talk. talk. Makes sense. All right, guys, quick commercial break. So ever watch a celebrity on the red carpet get asked a question, can't answer, and they get the deer in headlights look? You can see them scanning for an escape. Wireless can make you feel like that too. A little trapped with no way out. So if you feel trapped by your wireless, Visible is your escape plan. On the Visible plan, you get one line wireless for just $25 a month, taxes and fees included. So you can switch today at Visible.com. One line wireless, just $25 a month on Visible plan, taxes and fees included. So it's unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon. If your wireless feels like a trap, you can find your escape plan with Visible. You can switch today at Visible.com. If you freeze like a celebrity who just got asked an awkward question on the red carpet, every time you see your wireless bill, it's time for an escape plan. Visible's one-line wireless monthly rates on the Visible plan for additional terms and network management practices. See Visible.com now. Make sure to switch today at Visible.com. We have looks like two games to play, possibly. Which one do we want to do with Tara? We have a I said Mary Kill or would yeah, you I rather? Say we can do some fuck Mary Kill. They did that. They did that to me on dropouts a little bit. So why don't we do it back? Okay, let's return okay. the favor. Yeah, buddy, what are you doing? I man? love this. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> what are you doing? Hi, buddy. Well, she's looking. She looks fabulous. Look at her stretching up, looking at the BFF site. I think she's just because this is usually her chair. Yeah, that's buddy's spot. <laughs> Tara's kind of like Tara's kind of taking it? it up. Oh, no, she's getting down. All right, all right, into the game. Okay, fuck, Mary kill. Are you guys playing too? We can join in. I'll join in. Can someone you. else go first? Yeah, 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 sure. JC, Kaylin, um, Johnny, Gilbert, or Vinny Hacker? Okay, so I will marry Vinny because I know him the most. So I feel like, you know, got like, I'm I'm compatible with him. I could, I could live my life with Vinny in my house, I'm sure. Uh, and I think he would live as well. And we'd maybe kiss every once in a while. And then, so the next one, I'll go with... Fuck. Uh, what am I feeling? What am I feeling? You feeling emo today? That's what I was wondering. Right. Like, is it like a fun little night? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Going down a different vibe? Yeah. I can dig some tattoos. Um. Yeah, sure. I'll fuck Johnny and kill JC. Nice. Sorry, JC. Sorry, JC. How about you? You know, this is a really hard one for me. Yeah. Um, Johnny's like my brother because he's, you know, my ex-boyfriend's roommate and best friend. Can I like marry him platonically? Well, the, I, the, I, yeah. I was kind of. You know, yeah. I mean, that's, no I'll platonically else marry Johnny. You actually don't have to do this, by the way, either. This is just a game. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so seriously, I'm like, you know what? Oh, God. Yeah, I think I'd marry Johnny platonically. I'd, I'm sorry. I'd kill JC. And then I think I'd. Um, this is going to get clipped. I'd, I'd fuck Vinny. <laughs> Flip it up. That's not even though, like, I feel like most girls would. So that's not. I, you cool. know what? I will say in my video, I literally said the entire population of the universe thinks Vinny's attractive. Yeah, I think. I don't think you could look at him and be like, you can't think he's ugly. You yeah. can't, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Not just me. All right. oh, no, not just no, me. You're, you're correct, Tara. Bryce Hall, Jack Wright, and Noah Beck. This is so hard. Do you want me to start again? Yeah, because these are people around us. Oh, like, okay. You know uh, what I mean? These are like celebrities. I think that, that's the point. <laughs> right. Man. I'll marry my boy Bryce. <laughs> Who are you going to kill? <laughs> Jack, kill Noah. You're, You're killing Noah? Noah? <gasps> yeah, I think, I think so. Okay. Well, yeah, you just killed him. Yeah, He's I just dead. killed him. Wow. I think I I haven't I haven't seen no one in a long time and I I've like hung out with Jack. So Okay, fair enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'd marry Jack. He's so sweet. Yep. I think I'd Actually that's probably a better he, idea. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely made the right He's just so, so kind. I'm not saying Bryce isn't kind. No. But I'm saying Jack is just so kind. But 
I don't know. I couldn't marry Bryce. <sighs> you do yours. <laughs> okay. I think I'd marry Jack. I think I'd fuck Noah. And I'm sorry, but I know Bryce isn't like happily married. It's a relationship. Basically. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd kill Bryce. Smart. Yeah. Nice. Politically correct answer. Thank you so much. Nice, nice. Okay, Jared Bailey, Zach Justice, and Jake Weber. Wow, who did these? These are insane. Yeah, these uh, are good. Okay, I'd kill Zach. Oof. I'd fuck easy. Jared. You, that I'd was marry, like... I'd marry my ex, Jake. Okay, <laughs> that was easy. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was, was quick. Easiest bang, bang, one bang. yet, yeah. Bang, bang. Josh Richards, Dave Portnoy, and Harry what Styles. Oh, no. Also... Well, I mean, I'm going to get murdered here pretty quick. Well... <laughs> Well, no. Harry Styles, it's it's like I Bri, think. Are you gonna well, do I look seventeen, and I have a. You do look I seventeen upstairs. Bree, can Does you do that? Am I just doing this alone? Um, oh, I don't want to do this one. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll do it with you. <laughs> okay, can you go first? I'm gonna <laughs> marry. I'm gonna marry Harry. Oh, what? what? Yeah. Wait, what? I thought Who? for sure I was getting married. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. It's so really shocking. confident. It's Harry. Well, I don't know. I don't. So what are you gonna I don't want to do fuck gonna... or marry either of you guys. Well, <laughs> that's why you did oh. this really wrong. Okay, you okay. Married okay. me, fucked Harry, and killed Josh. Oh, okay. Maybe why am I okay. getting killed? <laughs> yeah, maybe I would marry Dave. Thank you. Um, what the fuck? Yeah, I would have well, to it's kill like you, we, Josh. We have a business working relationship. Money. And <laughs> Yeah. yeah would, money. Got the money. Yeah. Good... Kill you, Jay. And yeah, Harry. I think Ugh. I'm sorry. I'd kill Josh. I, murdered. I, I think I'd <laughs> fuck Dave and marry Harry. That's good. Yeah. Good answers. Yeah, those are good Dave, answers. Dave, are you single? No. Oh, yes. What okay. am I talking about? <laughs> I don't know. That was immediate. No. <laughs> That's I'm trained. I'm so trained. <laughs> that was That's like three. scary. That's three that years of like training wow. to be like, yes, yes, no, okay. no. Like, yeah, okay. I am it's, single. You're single? Recently. Yeah, oh. like three months. Congrats. I'm not going to say yes to that. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay, we have Corbin Blue. Wait. That's super random. He was my I first crush. I had a crush. huge crush on Blue growing up. Shut up. Me too. I, that was the first concert I ever went to. And Jake T. Austin was my biggest. These are my biggest crushes. Jake T. Austin, Ashton Kutcher. Wait, Wait is really? Is Corbin Blue like a sandwich or something? No, he's That's from. Cordon Blue. <laughs> what is it? Cordon Blue. <laughs> Cordon Blue. I'm pretty sure that's like a meal. <laughs> that's what I asked. Isn't that a sandwich? So this is Corbin, Corbin Blue. Blue. But what is the other? Cordon, Cordon Blue. So Cordon. is that why he was named like that? Like his family thought was being cute? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't I don't think, think so. <laughs> well, if your last name is Blue, yeah. why would you name it so s close to that sandwich? Well, who came first, the, the sandwich or the man? The the sandwich, definitely. Someone Google it. Yeah. yeah. We're looking it up. There's no chance that's an accident. Start with Cordon Bleu first, but Corbin and Cordon Bleu, I feel like it's a little different. A little different, yeah. It's pretty close. Yeah, maybe they didn't know about the sandwich. How? Maybe they didn't know, yeah. You guys, yeah. that didn't jump into your head when you saw this guy's name? No, I'm not a big, like, uh, I'm a big Cordon Corbin Blue. Blue. I don't even know what Cordon Blue is, to Me be Me either. Honest. What is it? I just know it's something. It's, it's like a kind of like a, it's like ham and cheese and like a little toasted thing. I don't know if it's a sandwich or if it's more of a meal. Corn Blue. <laughs> Cordon Blue. It's like yeah. one of these things, like the melted cheese in the middle. There is no oh, shot. Was, that's, that's that good. dude's family Chicken didn't ham. know what this was. He's never addressed it that we so can that find. Fix so. around the head. I want one. Of those. You, the, your last name is Blue, and you name your kid after this? Come on. I guess I have to have him on the pod. Chicken? Yes. I thought it was ham. Well, it's ham and chicken. I, I do oh, think I it is. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a bread around it. Anyways, I sidetracked us. I'm sorry. That's okay. All right. Anyways, mm -hmm. Corbin Blue, Jake T. Austin, or <laughs> Ashton Kutcher? Oh, man. I'd marry Ashton Kutcher Me so too. quickly. Me too. I think I'd kill Jake T. Austin and fuck Corbin Blue. That's a good good answer. Yeah. Corbin Blue. I had, like, such a thing for him growing up. Ooh. Oh, my God. Channing Tatum and Magic Mike. <gasps> Channing Tatum, Ashton Irwin, and Austin Butler. These are all so good. Did I think someone got this, and this isn't to, like, blow smoke up my ass. Did someone do research on this video? I, I did this video where I talked about every celebrity crush I've ever had, and these are all of that. Must be. Probably. Yeah, it has to be. Oh yes. my God. Thank yes. you. Uh, yeah. This is very hard. Can someone else go first? Is that okay? Yeah. 
I don't really know the middle guy. I don't know the middle guy at all. Five seconds of summer. Oh, okay. He I never looks really too was pretty to five. be like rock and roll. Yeah, I think they were more like pop punk vibes back then. Got versus it. rock and roll, yeah. Yeah, I would probably kill Ashton just because I don't know him. Yeah. Mary. Ooh. Mary Shannon Tatum. He's just like the OG. Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what I would do. Okay. I think I would do. I think I would fuck Channing, marry Austin, and kill Ashton. But how can you take anybody seriously who plays a character Elvis and they get stuck I, in that character I, after I it's over? I love that movie. Yeah, yeah it's you great. Want, you want to be I, Elvis. See, that's fine. Yeah. You could stay in the Elvis voice. I wouldn't care. <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> to be like, I'm stuck in Elvis. I would, it I would insane. admire. insane. He like, kind I, of freaks me out. <laughs> He was great though in Dune. All right, well that's the game. Um, it's up to you, uh, Tara. Whether you want to stay with us for like the headlines or bounce, because we're already forty-five minutes started, forty-five minutes late. So it's totally up to your call, and we won't be insulted either way. Either yeah, way, it's up to you. We like do the headlines, and we just run through kind of like general shit. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll stay. I don't care. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'll hang out. Perfect. All right, so we go through the the most late. Latest headlines. I got a half an hour, then I got to take uh, Peaches to the vet, so we'll try to go quick anyways. Right. Um, Tisha and Noah Cyrus, Cyrus allegedly feuding over Dominic Purcell. It's alleged Tish Cyrus, 56, and her daughter, Noah Cyrus, 24, are not on good terms because Noah's rumored <gasps> past relationship with Tish's now husband, Dominic Purcell. Awkward. What? Wait, that's Awkward. fucking weird. I didn't know that. Awkward. That's weird on, on the recent- dude's part. On a recent episode of Call Her Daddy, Tish retold how the two met saying Dominic had DM'd her in 2016 while he was still with Billy Ray and she didn't answer it, although she would always call him her hall pass. After Billy and Tish split around April 2022, Tish DM'd Dominic. Tish says the pair said, I love you to one another day after their first date and Dominic had a crush on her for a while. The couple married in August 2023 and Noah Cyrus was not in attendance. The day of the wedding, Noah posted a picture in a Billy Ray t-shirt with a brother Brayson who also didn't attend the wedding. It was reported at the time that Met Miley had armed guards at the door in case Noah showed up. Now, reports are claiming at some point prior to Tish and Dominic's relationship, Noah and Dominic were seeing each other for about eight to nine months, but were having issues. It's also reported that Miley Cyrus had no idea about any of it before it was reported. That's a crazy story. Imagine dating the daughter and then being like, mm, I'm going to marry your mom. No, I don't. That's I can't imagine that. fucking nutso. This guy might be nutso, I think. They yeah. said, I love you after the first date. That's Are also nuts. That's, I forgot that's about that. Good point. That's Touché. crazy. That's stuck in my head. That's crazy, like for anyone in the world, let alone a <laughs> other daughter mixer upper. Yeah, he's yeah. A... The whole thing is. I don't know who this guy is. I didn't know he like me either. It was her. Why is this a story? By the way, he started like, what prison break. I don't know if you've seen that. Oh. Show. Yeah, yeah, I've seen. Yeah, that. now that you say it, I recognize. But why is this a story now? What happened? It just I came out that it came out, the yeah. daughter had a relationship with him. When? Where? How did it come out? Uh, tabloids, I think. Oh, so we don't know. It's tabloids. Yeah. Might not even and, be true. D- all right. Meek Mill versus DJ Academics. After a male employee sued Diddy for sexual assault, DJ Academics covered the lawsuit on his podcast. DJ Academics suggested that one of the redacted names of the lawsuit is Meek Mill because it suggested the rapper is from Philly, dated Nicki Minaj, leading people to believe Meek Mill was gay and he had a relationship with Diddy. Meek Mill clarified on Twitter he's not gay in a string of deceptive tweets. Meek Mill and DJ a- Academics continue to go back and forth. Meek Mill suggested it was set up to make his music fail because it came right out before his independent e- EP dropped. DJ Academics claims that Meek Mill called the governor on him and switched, snitched. I don't know. I don't really care about this fight. Who cares? Does anyone yeah. care? No, I, I don't really care. I think what's really funny, though, is that with the Diddy stuff, like, have you guys been seeing any of that that's been going on? Like, Not really. No, I only so, saw the Meek Mill stuff. A bunch of... Sorry, a phone call just came through our iMac. Um, a bunch of uh, of information started getting leaked of Diddy. You know, like these like cases where he's involved in like murder or assisted murder, murder or like involved with like guns and drugs. And everyone kind of didn't really make any noise about it. And then as soon as someone mentioned like 
he was gay. Everyone was like, oh, my God, bro, we can't be doing that. It was like the crazy. It's like no one cares about the homicide. The stuff. The gay stuff. Interesting. Sorry. Um, Did I cut you off? I just said society is crazy. Oh, well, one word. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, right? Society. Society. <laughs> DDG comes for Elijah Schaefer after he disses Haley Bailey. Hosts a slightly offensive podcast, Elijah Schaefer tweeted, when exactly did Hollywood become flooded with ugly people with a picture of Haley Bailey? <gasps> what? She's in your yeah. top 10. She's my top 10 of all time. He said she looked like E.T., I think. I do say she looks like an alien in a good way, though. Yeah, you said in a good way. You said in a good way. This was not in a nice way, I don't believe. Um, but, yeah, I saw DDG was saying he's, like, smoking on his his mom. What type of idiot would call her ugly? I, I don't gorgeous. know. I don't know. This guy's uh, he's out of his mind, obviously. Who is this guy? You love her, Dave? Top, I, I, I I don't know if love is the word, but I put together on the last podcast my top 10 most huh. beautiful women of all time. And she's on it. Oh, because you looked really distressed for a second. <laughs> I was. That's You're because, she, yes, I was I, I was upset. If you put together a list of top 10 people most mm -hmm. beautiful and then a week later she's in the news for being called ugly, that hurts my credibility, A, and B, it, it is crazy. I agree. Mm. Yeah, it's wow. just not true. Not true. I agree. Fans began tweeting Elijah a picture of his mom calling her ugly. Elijah shared his mom passed away cancer and had oh. to have life-saving facial reconstruction. I don't care. You call someone ugly, you're fair game. Free book, yeah, but the, they should just call him ugly, not his dead cancer mom. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, you may not know that the mother <laughs> passed. <laughs> that's not funny but kind of is like uh, I, I don't know i don't death, i don't not the, death, not the death i don't i don't listen if you call me ugly from the clouds like if i haven't provoked a fight and be like damn that dave porno he's one ugly motherfucker your family's in game <laughs> yeah fair enough man like i don't uh, there's no rules to like war necessarily you call me ugly like what i have to play by your ugly rules no your ugly rules. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying, though? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I guess you can do whatever you want. Your okay. <laughs> he did. He knew. DJ knew what he said. It though. He doubled down at the bottom of the sheets. Like I'm smoking on your dead mom. <gasps> Again. Oh, if, terrible though. That that's crazy. That's, that's crazy. That's, I feel like if someone that's calls his you girl, I, that's, that's him. like that's his girl. It's his wife. You yeah. called my wife ugly. I'm calling your oh. dead mom ugly. Fine. Fair. Eye for an eye. I'm smoking on your dead mama. Don't I would do that if someone call if 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 I was like, all right, you got I'm the only one on you. Well, no, both uh Tara and I, but if you two someone came at your significant other being like, Man, you're you're dating an ugly motherfucker, anything's a game. Yeah. I, I usually I would just be like towards them. I wouldn't bring any other people into it. Personally. No, that's nice of you. That's the I think high I road. No, I wouldn't. I, I, think I, I would agree bring. With I'd bring in. I'd bring in whatever I needed to. I, I always say, yeah. uh, no one would ever call Kathy I hope, ugly. I hope your younger brother gets leukemia. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, I have a uh, uh, when they go I just, high. I just think no one would ever call Gabby ugly. Yeah, yeah. I'm not really. Well, like, well, time out. No, you're wrong. Well, they called you Howard could, Bailey. Correct. You're right. Yeah, you're, right. you're right. That's a good. You're right. You would have said that. Correct. You're right. You're right. My bad. I take it back. Yeah. I have a little slogan. When they go high, I go low. Like I do not go high road. Like you want, yeah. Like I'll go as low. I will tunnel to like the, the like hell to get back. Yeah, so it's the Achilles heel. I like that. Uh, Sydney Sweeney hosted SNL. She poked fun at the Glenn Powell thing. I, I didn't watch it. She looked good. I am not. I like. I know people go bananas uh, for her. I'm, I'm not one of those people. But she's not in your top ten. Not even close. Okay. okay. Not even close. Yeah. I mean, I think she's gorgeous, but I'm not like a huge boob, blonde hair, like tradition. I don't know. Um, did anybody watch it? I didn't watch her no. SNL. Uh, no, me neither. No. What was this one? I saw this. Kanye DM'd Mika. Do you think this is real? Girlfriend? Yeah. yeah. Do we think it's, it's definitely real? real? Well, Josh yeah. knows, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's real. I mean, I don't think Bryce faked a DM from Kanye. Um, Doesn't Kanye have is, a wife, though? Yeah. Bianca? Oh, I don't think Kanye is capable of anything. 
True. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he plays by the rules of society. I don't yeah. think he plays by the rules of marriage either. I think no, he, definitely not. Yeah, he's, are they yeah. married? They are. Yeah, yeah. Okay. they're 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 wow. married. Well, uh, who is? I didn't know Bryce's girlfriend was famous. Yeah, she's she's got a social following. Mika Lafuente. Yes. Okay. How long have they been dating for? I want to say like five, six months. Oh, not that long. Roback Activewear. You guys know Roback, but what you may not know is Roback has launched a new women's line and it's incredible. Made to be comfortable and versatile, get you through your everyday activities. First, Roback's hoodie and jogger sets are the most comfortable piece of clothing we own. They are so soft that the fabric is literally called V-Soft. It's that soft. Second, Roback's back with their active dress and skirt, made to be your go-to while on the move. They're both comfortable, lightweight, have the perfect fit. The dresses also has the ge- uh, the genius feature called gtg technology where you can keep the dress on while you're on the go and go to and gut to go finally you know their men's hoodies and polos are everyone in the boss parcels office favorite piece of clothing they're so comfortable have a great fit just incredibly versatile it's easy to see why we can't go around the office without seeing their dog logo on two stripe bridge on the back i actually wear Roback now on my Hup Boy walks, and when it's cool in the morning, Miami is perfect. Do yourself a favor, visit their web, their website, roback.com. Use the code BFF for generous 20% off your first purchase through the end of the week. That's spelled R H O B A C K.com. That's 20% off their entire new women's line, plus all our favorite men's items with code BFF. New spring gear just dropped, so check them out at roback.com. Headlines from 2020. Taylor Halder wants to fight Bryce Hall. For real. Don't going, care. Uh, yeah, yeah, don't care. I tried to put this fight together at one time and point, and it was very unre- on like rough and rowdy. And it was just not, it was like they're both kind of unrealistic and like it, it just came Yeah, they wanted like come millions close. of dollars, right? It, it was like, it, yeah, it just didn't come close. Um, is Bradley Cooper oversharing? Some fan think Bradley Cooper, Dave's doppelganger, is sharing too much about his personal life after his appearance on Dak Shepard's podcast, Armchair Expert. Bradley revealed. It did not, it did not say Bradley's Dave's uh, revealed he's comfortable walking around naked at wait, home wait, wait. because his dad was always naked. He took showers with him. Bradley all, also revealed he didn't have a connection with his daughter for months, questioning if he would risk his life for her if someone came in with a gun. <laughs> it didn't. It did not say Dave's doppelganger on the sheet, man. That was creative uh, control. Okay. Do you yeah, think they control? Yeah, he thinks that they look like twins. It's uh, well, I don't know about <laughs> twins, but I will say. <laughs> do you remember bigger. when that? You remember that app where it, like transformed? It's like here's your celebrity. Yeah. And you got Bradley Cooper. Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. Uh, more people end up saying Zuckerberg, which makes me want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> that was Tell a- me that's not Zuckerberg on the right. Uh, that's not. That's Bradley Cooper on the right. That's Bradley Cooper. I know what Bradley Cooper looks like. Yeah. Well, that, um, the one that you that's... think is him right there next to the guy in the blue check and shirt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> I think you're better looking than Mark, but. <laughs> oh, that's what I think. <laughs> Fans use food reserve uh, reviewers' name for better orders on Uber Eats. A TikToker encourages people to change their Uber Eats account name to food reviewer Keith Lee's name after receiving better prepared food that way. I don't believe that. Yeah, because you don't do that with the pizza, right? On Uber Eats? Like the Uber Eats people know what's going on? I don't know. I've heard some people say they've changed their name to Keith Lee on Uber Eats and like their food's always like fresh. Like their food's always hot. You don't know exactly what this no. He's a big food reviewer he on TikTok. Is, oh, okay. Like one of the biggest food reviewers, I would say, oh, okay. on social media. Okay. I just know Dave does pizza. I Thank said you. one of. Dave, right. I said one of. Yeah. I didn't, uh, people I, always call him pizza. They always say that. But I, well, I, a know lot, pizza, and I don't know who Keith Lee is. Thank that's you. A, that's a good point. You're welcome. That's a good point. You're, you're, maybe we would be a good pair. Me and you? Yeah. Tara, okay. if I can get the name. You like, can get my name know. right. That'd be yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> People, pizza places always say people say my name, but they just don't believe it because a lot of times I'll come in and they're like, oh, it's really you because people call and fake it a lot. Do you so, call uh, in before or do you order it right when you get there? No, actually, it is called in a lot, uh, but Austin does it. I don't use my name. Uh, so okay. I guess maybe that story I just said didn't make a lot of sense, but I have had that before. Uh, AI Gaming Sense, a company called Game Sense is working on creating a device that works with AI to diffuse sense that match video games a user is playing. 
I don't even. This doesn't make sense. Some sense may include blood, ocean, sports arena, and fresh cut grass. Oh. Blood? I don't want to smell don't blood. Want blood. going to smell like pennies? Yeah. Oh. Just a <laughs> pallet. Fresh like cut, pallet? Yeah. yeah. Fresh cut grass is great. Yeah. Yeah, that's a beautiful smell, From but why do I want to smell lawn. blood? Do I have I to smell like what has dead it bodies? Do I have to smell like dead bodies when like there's dead people around? And then do, how does it? What if it doesn't go away and your room just smells like bloody dead bodies? It is explain? kind of fuck. <laughs> it is kind of cool if it worked. Yeah. Like if you're playing game and like where you are starts to definitely smell like, like submerges you into the game a little. Bit. Yeah, a little bit. Then you got to get the uh, goggles on too and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go full blown. Yeah. Re Ready Player One style. I was skipping to Taylor because we always get Taylor stuff, and it's like she made pup darts for the team. Great. Uh, Elizabeth Hurley's son directed a sex scene. I think that's an old news. Wait, Wait that's what? her son? Elizabeth directed his own mom's sex scene? Wait a minute. This picture is wild of Elizabeth Hurley and her son. What? The, why is it wild? The one of them smiling? Smiling? She's smiling. I don't know what he's doing. Because he he's looks doing like, like Elizabeth Hurley. He's, like, oh. he's mewing. He's like, he looks straight out of Zoolander. <laughs> yeah. He does have that Zoolander. Yeah. Mark Zuckerberg makes everything uncool. Yeah, he does. <laughs> including trying to make me uncool. <laughs> so you're not a Mark fan? Primarily because of the look problem. And he does. He's a dork. He makes everything uncool. And when people mm. say uh, it's like just bad for my brand, to be honest. Right. It makes like, me look I, bad. Yeah, correct. bad publicity. If you're going to be him, you should have the billions of dollars, oh, not just be. Huh? I thought I can't believe you get compared to Mark Zuckerberg. That really, I was still laughing at that like two headlines later. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. The only thing that legitimately gets under my skin. Anything oh, else I'm you can sorry. be like, Not you're it. the worst I'm so person. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, Crowd throws sorry, trash up models. Tara. Yeah, you, you did call me Tara, it. and Tara. that's my bit. Yeah, 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 you got it. <laughs> Crowd throws trash up models during Milan Fashion Week show. Fashion label uh, Avaya Vav gave audience members pails of trash and gloves to throw trash at models. The show is an experiment to comment on internet trolls. I don't know what this is. Just, Gross. What does this have to do with internet trolls? <laughs> There's comments on the side. Yeah. Man. Modern art, baby. That's modern art. Really dumb. Just um, don't get it. It provokes conversation. See, we're talking about it. That's what art's meant. I guess. We got it on the sheets. Yeah. Uh, Hashtag art. Oh, this was hilarious. Woman loses $800,000 disability case after a photo emerged of her winning a, a Christmas tree throwing competition a year after the accident. There is no photo in the history of photos that's been more incriminating than this lady <laughs> tossing like a gigantic a tree huge in the air. tree. This is insane. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Why it did, almost seems fake. Dude, it, it's just like, why would you, you know you're up for 800 k yeah. What are you oh, out there doing with the trees? Fake. She's hucking them. Hey, she's dedicated to her sport, though, and that's she what she got to love. Yeah. Tyreek Hill allegedly broke influencer's leg during football jails. Tyreek Hill is being sued by influencer Sophie Hall, who claims Tyreek broke her leg with crushing force. Hill and Hall were allegedly running football drills. Hall managed to knock Hill backwards, causing those watching to laugh. This allegedly humiliated Hill, who then charged into her violently with great force, breaking her leg. Is this a real story? This You're is at crazy. the practice and he bumped, he fell into you. You can't you sue him, this? right? I I have I have not heard this. I think maybe I'd seen a TikTok, but I haven't really heard anything about this. This would be this would be nuts if he just broke a lady's leg out of embarrassment. Wait, yeah, he I, broke her leg? I'm not reading this right. He yeah, broke, he broke her leg. Right. He, she pushed him or something. He fell back. People laughed. He got pissed. Oh. He smashed into her. But the whole thing doesn't make sense. The last two stories are red flags. I don't yeah, even know if yeah, they're yeah, real. Yeah, 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 that's... Oh, he got mad and then fucking rammed her and broke her yeah, leg. Yeah. Okay, now I'm getting yeah, it. But I mean, how do you fake a lawsuit? Car? No. You never get physically mad? No. No, I don't. I, I get loud and annoying, but I don't get physical. No. Also, what the fuck can I do? I don't know. Maybe you throw a little slap. Throw a I could be in like spicy bottle. enough to slap somebody. No, I don't. Your think friend's nodding his head yes in the corner. Okay, my friend's known me since I was eight years old. 
So like maybe when I was like eight, Jacob, but not now. You get slapped sometimes, Jacob. You've never gotten slapped. For sure, by he does. I can see it in no, his he eyes. Hasn't. He's, He's lying. Hurt. Feels forced to be here. And we kept them for an extra hour. Rihanna performed <laughs> at a billionaire's wedding in India. Yeah. Rihanna performed her fir first full concert in eight years at Anant Amabi's pre-wedding celebration last weekend. She was paid six million. Uh, people have said that Rihanna gave a lazy performance. How much they paid? By the way, you can be as lazy as you want when you go do an individual like billionaire wedding. Like, what do yeah. you know? Like, kill She's it. Also Rihanna. Yes, happened there. You right. just need to. You just need to hear the voice. That's enough. So this guy, the, uh, Ivanka Trump, Gates, Zuckerberg, Prime Minister of Canada, all at this wedding. I guess Beyonce performed for her other, this guy's other daughter. And I was told, and I don't have total confidence in this, but people in India hate this guy because he flaunts so much billions. And like India is such a poor country that people are just like, fuck this guy. But who knows? That's fair. Huh. And it's a former... Prime Minister of Canada, by the way. Okay. Well, thank you did for you keeping my did Canadian you like him? facts straight. Canada yeah. guy? I don't know. Uh, Stephen Harper. I was pretty young when he was in office. You know, I wasn't really paying attention to that. Mm. So I don't have an opinion, I guess, on him. I, I live Those in are Canadian facts from Josh Richards. Thanks. Yep. Yeah, thank yeah, yeah. You, Stephen Harper. <laughs> Rachel uh, Levis sues Tom Sandoval and Area Maddox. I don't even get this story either. Rachel Levis is suing, suing going on. Yeah. Yeah. For revenge porn, no, no, no. eavesdropping, international, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and invasion of privacy. What does this mean? What is what revenge porn? I don't know what that means. I don't. Lost in the mix was that. So, again, as a reminder, Levis and Tom Sandoval were fucking and ariana was dating tom sandoval this is a big thing i don't know i these these people are nuts i don't know what i don't know what i don't know who any of these people are hey, really I, really yeah, you do josh i said i don't a lot of the time either i think the this is vanderpump this is this the is big vanderpump. drama from last yeah. year so oh, these two were dating for nine years and her best friend was sleeping with her boyfriend and, and then i was out. accused of sleeping with rachel Le levis by you, do you mean Mark Zuckerberg or do you? The actual me. Oh, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, that was a genuine question, by the way. That wasn't to get under your skin. I would never. No, no, that's <laughs> fair. Tara. Seems like um, she Tara. <laughs> I think that's most, uh, oh, what is it? I, I saw this while we were waiting. I was scrolling through it. Influencer covers what he calls the downfall of the Demelios. A TikToker user operating under the name of his business, be Better Company has been making TikToks about the downfalls of celebrities from a marketing perspective. TikTokers said that the Demelos were oversaturated too quickly, unlike the Kardashians who amassed fans over time. The TikToker also said they prove followers don't convert to sales, says they look like they're sellouts and their business had no soul because the brand didn't fit their personal identity. Um, Charlie and Dixie blocked the creator and he said it must bother him because there was a piece of truth because they're celebrities they can be talked about that is respectful, tried to stick to business. Uh, are you guys aware of all this stuff? No, I didn't uh, see any of this. I think I saw a video uh, that he had made, but I didn't really watch like the entire thing. Are the Demelos as like hot as ever in the streets? I don't think they're as hot as ever, but you know, like they're no, they're it's no like, Terra. Yeah, 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 no Terra. But um, I think I, I don't. I wouldn't think, even compare myself to them. I think they're much bigger than me. I don't think like what they're doing is slow. Like you know, they're still making money they're still making moves yeah but people like i feel but like no one talks fine. about them anymore or do people care about them that was my question yeah yeah i'm sure like people still care about them i'm sure i i i, that's yeah, I just really, mean like, there isn't like the d'amelio craze anymore i think who is charlie dating nobody. nobody oh she was spotted with zach bia we talked about but i don't zach think bia. They're, they're not dating yeah, i don't yeah. think they're not dating just friends. cross that out yeah. okay uh we'll wrap this up with the bffs corner Grace is with Tart and Bora Bora. Brie was invited, said no mas, no thank you. Yeah, I kind of wish I went said now. no? I, I just had came back from traveling from Vegas for a week, LA for a week, and then it was going to go straight to Bora Bora and then it comes straight to Chicago after. And I thought it was going to be too much, but I totally could have done it. And I, now I wish I did. <laughs> Do you think you're like off the list? Isn't that like every influencer? We want to go to Tart. We want to go to Tart. And you just, you're like, oh, see you, Tart. No, I'm friends with Maureen. I, I don't think okay. so. I like was okay. talking to her. I met Maureen. It. Yeah, she's the best. She's super sweet. Very nice. Um, there's a catfish of me on Raya. Oh, 
I saw that. You, you saw my Raya? you saw me on Raya? No, no. I haven't been accepted to Raya, which is crazy. But um I saw on TikTok that someone was like, Hi, this is for Dave. I've been looking you up a lot because I knew I was coming here. So I think yep. I'm on Portnoy, like TikTok. TikTok. And he was like she was like, had like six thousand likes, you had like none yet. And it was like, Oh, just so you know, like someone's catfishing you and I can't screen record or else I'll be kicked off. So Got what's it? the video? So I did, this is news to me. I had no idea oh, really? what was going on. It's just, yeah, this I had no girl. Idea. it's just this girl. Yeah, there it is. Hey, this video is for Dave Portnoy. I um, just wanted to let you know that someone in San Diego is using your pictures on Raya. Uh, their name is Patrick. It says they're 32 years old. And I couldn't take a screenshot because they've already screenshot twice on there. And now they're threatening to kick me off if I do it again. And I don't really want to get kicked off. But um, the more you know. Honestly, is that the like, Hannah Kosh girl? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Honestly, like such a compliment honestly that, right when you use the photos yeah yeah because they're them. like saying like oh this guy's good looking enough this to like, guy looks like bradley the, cooper the best compliment like, would be like we don't know who he is well they didn't say but, dave's they're not trying to pretend to be you they're just trying correct. to correct they they're like this guy fucking looks like bradley cooper so we're gonna use this random ass dude's picture <laughs> to trick girls <laughs> yeah Fuck that yeah. works Fuck yeah. Yeah, that's good for you. Good that's for a you, great Dave. story. I feel great. That's a great <laughs> how, story. How, can I ask how old you are? Yeah, 46. And they said 32. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Fuck that. yeah. Fuck yeah. Even more, even, even more compliments. Yeah. yeah. I feel time. good. This whole show, I was in a bad mood because it was so late this episode, and now I'm like cheering up. Nice. That's good. Walk with I'm the pepper so step. Okay, Jason, your mouth. Because you scare <laughs> the fuck out of me. That's what she said. No, uh, yeah. That, I, I'm a very, very nice person. Uh, th th sticking with good things, we don't have to go into it, but I did a pizza review and a bunch of little kids said I had trip. Which no, was this was excited. my favorite video ever, Dave. This really? is so yes, it was so Arch. funny when you thought we'll, you were we'll like, do... "Whoa, this is I feel so good." <laughs> I do feel good. Show the video that. Yeah, I felt great. <laughs> now, repeat to the camera so people believe. What do you say about me? I say that you sound like a surfing. You sound and what, like a surfing. I sound look and what? What do you say about the way I was dressed? Yeah, I said rock. Drip, you said yeah, yeah, you got drip. That smile. Yeah, These kids say I get all the drip. That's literally what he said. I got all the drip. I walked in. He goes, this guy has all the drip. It's the nicest thing. Hey, where you get that from? This shirt? Yeah, it's so nice. Are you just busting my ball? No, he said I got all the drip. I ain't gonna lie. You gotta, you gotta show me where you got that shirt from. Bro. It's a place called Fortune Fortress. Is well, the name of it. Yeah. That, that shirt go hard. It's like a t-shirt. It goes hard. <laughs> that hand movement was hysterical. Yeah, I was very excited. It was like <laughs> it was hard. Did that make you like kids a little bit more? No. Wait, uh, you hate children too? Hate them. Oh my god! Maybe we are a great match. That, that, that's probably why we're both <laughs> taking our dogs in strollers. Oh my god, that was sweet though. That was sweet. Yeah, yeah, it was very sweet. And, and we, uh, with the stroller Maybe video. Maybe you should just adopt a black kid. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, maybe that's what. Right. Maybe maybe white little no, kids. I, are no, no, no. I don't like obnoxious. I don't like. I don't like kids. I don't like obnoxious kids. Most then, of them are yeah, not. Those kids are good. Around. Those yeah. kids are great. Um, the Dune thing. This is you guys asked me for a Dune. This was a real video. I planned on dressing up for Dune, and I was like practicing, which sounds lame. But have you guys seen Dune one? I've seen no. Dune one. It's awesome. The yeah. main thing is they. They have like so they can breathe on their on Dune. They have like a wire that goes into yeah. their nose. So do the video. I, I try. I was like, all right, I got to go to the supermarket and get a black straw. Because Why didn't you just black. get like an oxygen tank or a sharpie and paint the? I could have done the sharpie. I've been talking a lot how I want to go see the movie Dune. I'm going tonight. I've been like, oh, I love it so much. I'm going to dress up. The key component, obviously, I was thinking like the straw in your nose and that goes back. Now I know it has to be black. I stuck the straw so far up my nose. It basically hit my brain. And then we had a pretty severe like bloody nose <laughs> on my hand. It's still kind of bleeding as you can see. Long story short, I'm not dressing up for Dune anymore. Uh, I've killed that idea because I got a bloody nose and I'm just gonna go enjoy the movie and eat a ton of popcorn, but this thing up my nose, uh, I, I, my nose is too big to play games like this, okay? I'm just gonna go enjoy the movie. <laughs> Disaster, the movie was great. I ate four large popcorns, which people don't believe I did, but I did. That's insane. Did you get oh, the the weird thing? The No, the I didn't get box? the weird thing. It was just a standard large. A dunussy? You didn't get that? Oh, no. I 
Yeah, the one that you were like, you're going to stick your dick in. No, yeah. Do you order four at once or you went back and forth for more? Four oh, here. Oh, that's oh, crazy. My <laughs> oh, my God. Were you not so thirsty? I know. I drink. So I got uh, two waters and like a large diet. Coke. So the theater I go to in Miami, Silver Lake, when you you can order from your seat at any time. Oh, so if you okay. run out of popcorn, they bring you more. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so you were must. How long's the movie? Three hours. And I get I'm an earth like I love going to the movies. I mean, I love it. Like I don't go that often because I eat that much popcorn. I know it's not good for you. But like if I go to a movie, I'm there an hour early. I am always the first person in the theater. <laughs> what? You can sit there for three hour? hours. Yeah, the movie was three hours, so I was in the theater for like four and a half. Because if you're there an hour early, then previews. So I'm done with like a. You go by yourself. Uh, sometimes I didn't the other day, but sometimes I do. I like going to movies by myself. Do you have a little My date? Dad does that. Uh, I went to the movies. Uh, I, I have that. Oh, yeah, did catch it. I do have a new crush coming out June too. I can't believe she's a new crush. She's been my crush Florence forever. Florence Pugh is so pretty. She's yes. beautiful. I think she should be in your top 10. She's knocking on the door, Brie. Mm. If you see Don't Worry Darling, she's stunning. She's such a good actress. She just has that so vibe about good. her. She right? has that vibe. She carries. Yeah, yeah. She just carries. Always that confidence well. Yeah. Oh, so good. Um, yeah. The air jacket in Singapore. Josh yeah. gives Gabby the princess treatment. What's that mean? I'm a good guy. That's what that means. That hair is wild. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, it was. I didn't do my hair that much. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Princess treatment. <laughs> you guys have been doing a lot of little skits. They keep coming up. I don't think I follow a lot of people on yeah. TikTok, so I'm seeing everything you do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're doing those little, little fun Skitties. videos. Yeah. yeah. Uh, fans think this video was edited. Was it? This is the TikTok of Josh's. That was the video. No, that was the way that he fell. Everyone was like, "That." Uh, 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 It's always edited, but it wasn't. I just ate the ground. Yeah, it looked like your face kind of bounced off the concrete a little. You committed to the. No, it didn't. I kind of caught. I caught before my face, but it did look like it in the video for sure. You're an actor. I forgot. Yeah, Yeah. the the craft. Yeah, it was beautiful. You skipped it, but going viral. Have you seen the Miss Peaches like imitation committing crimes wave? That's not yeah, yeah. On? I don't like that. Okay. I don't like that. <laughs> I saw it. I didn't skip it on purpose. I did. Well, I saw one. Well, people are like a lot of people sent. There's a lot of Miss Peaches stuff out there, but I don't like the killing one. It's like a knife or something. But she's a pit bull, so we're strong on pit bull support. There's a bunch. Oh, I saw this Ms. video. Peaches. <laughs> Oh, Miss Peaches, no. What did you do? Where did you get nuclear strike codes? <laughs> Miss this Peaches. <laughs> oh, is that the remote? Oh, man. I think in a way it's sweet. It just means that like you love her so much that it doesn't matter if she yeah. does. And she yeah. just she kills everyone. People are like, oh, you're spoiler. You're going to teach like the the. the- the poor girl was it like lived in a hoarding situation for six years. She'd been with yeah. me for three she weeks. She deserves to be she deserves 100%. She, she deserves she deserves the deserves princess treatment. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Um okay. Thank you. Uh I'm thinking to get right there. Tara. 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 Thank you very much for coming Chris, on the show. My pleasure. Thanks, Sorry, Tara. Right. You're the best. I don't, I don't mind I'll, at all. I'll take that. That's on me. Yeah. No, I yeah, got a new totally okay. Really? All right. That's all right. BFFs.